Hey guys, it's Ben, coach of the Baltimore Orioles, here with week 8, I think, of UBC. It's week 8. We are taking on my good pal, Ice Demon Gray, coach of the Barcelona Bagons. His team consists of Weavile, Megaglade, Garchomp, Melodic, Klefki, Shaman, Azelf, Chandelier, Golbat, Electivire, and Zangoose. This team is awesome. Uh, he did make a couple transactions recently. He picked up Azelf and Zangoose and dropped uh, Regirock and something else. Was it Gengar? Did he have Gengar on his team? I don't think he did. I don't know. But anyway, uh, his team is also very scary. He's got Chandelier. That's an awesome Pokemon. He's got Melodic and Shaman to complete the Firewater Grass Core. He's got Garchomp, an amazing Dragon type. Weavile, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in the format. Mega Gallade. A very terrifying Pokemon in the format. Uh, Dork thinks it's, a, thinks it's overrated, though. So, uh, yeah, his team's scary. So let's just hop in, hop right into the Pokemon that we're bringing. First up, we got Latios. It came in clutch last week, and the week before, and the week before. This thing is the goat. So I changed his nickname to another goat. Shout out to you weebs who get the reference. Uh, we've got Cobra Bear though, there, so we don't get pursuit trapped as easily by the Weavile. Uh, Draco Meteor, Psychic, HP Fire, Thunderbolt, that covers for everything. HP Fire is there to hit Clef Key, because that, that kind of walls Latios otherwise, so I kind of need that there. Thunderbolt, I don't remember, I built this team so long ago. Oh, right, that's a hit Melodic, because that thing is stupid bulky and would be able to come in anyway. Right, 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 okay. Next up, we have Ariados, we're finally bringing this thing. His Sticky Web's actually really put in some work against this team. His only removers are Clef Key and Golbat. And Clef Key, I don't think, I, don't, I really don't expect him to bring Defog on Clef Key. Because Golbat's like his main remover, and Klefki just has move slot syndrome as it is. It needs too many moves, so I don't think he would bring Defog on that. I could see him bringing Golbat, but if he do even if he does ring that, that's all also his only po poison type, so he doesn't have a T-Spike Absorber since Golbat isn't grounded. So we're bringing webs and T-Spikes on Ariados. The speed is the outspeed of max speed Chandelier after the webs drop. We've got Night Slash and Shadow Sneak there just for coverage. Night Slash with Sniper to do, maybe do some insane damage if we get lucky. And Shadow Sneak is there really to hit some stuff like Mega Gallade. If we can actually get these hazards set up, we are good to go. Next up, I wanted hazard removal, but I also didn't want to remove my hazards. So we're bringing Rapid Spin Excadrill. Iron Head and Earthquake really just does cover for the entire team. I could bring Excadrill for the Shaman, but he might... I mean, he's definitely going to expect that, so I'm not going to be bringing um, Excadrill. Maybe it's stu suicide. Maybe I'm just stupid, but we're not bringing next scissor. We also have rocks on this thing, just to set even more hazards, because again, Golbat's really his only form of removal, because we don't count Klefki. Next up, we're finally bringing Scrafty as well. I needed a Weavile switch, and this was the only thing that could really get the job done. Obviously, stuff like Azumarill and Suicune exist, but uh, I felt like Scrafty would be better, because, you know, with Intimidate, and it already has really good defenses, so uh, it can eat a knockoff for nothing, like it's nothing, because it's quad resisted. Icicle Crash won't do a ton because of the Intimidate dr drop and the uh, high defenses. It'll have to, and it'll be forced to switch out so I can Toxic something on the switch. Yeah, like I was saying, stuff like Suicune and Azumarill exist, exist that would also be able to switch into Weavile, but you know, Suicune, it needs those leftovers. Azumarill, it needs its item. Scrafty doesn't really need an item. Obviously, it's nice, but uh, if I run Rocky Helmet, that's just even more damage on the Weavile, so that's really sweet. I really like this set. Next up, we have Tornadus, because this is a really good revenge killer, killer to, like, his entire team. I actually need to redo these EVs, hold up, because he picked up a Zelf. I built this team a long time ago. Uh, max speed of Zelf hits, I think, 361, so let me just switch some stuff around. 363, yeah, we can just run that. Put the rest into HP, there we go. Much better. This is going to be the set we're bringing, so we can outspeed the Azelf. That would be a bad thing to not outspeed. We are Yachi Berry, so we can take at least one hit from the Weavile. Icicle Crash is still going to do a lot, but we can live one. Hurricane hit, hits like everything. We've got Heat Wave there to hit the Clef Key. Focus Blast is there for reasons. I don't know why I have Focus Blast on this thing. Why do I have Focus Blast? <laughs> oh man, I'm so good at prep. All right, I'm gonna change up this set a little bit before the game, I'm sure. Uh, and you turn for momentum. So yeah, there's there's that. And Suicune. I wasn't sure if I should bring standard Crocoon for to this game, or if I should bring this set. Call Mine, Skull, Protect, Substitute. This is what we're going to bring be bringing this. Enough speed to outspeed max speed Gallade after the uh, Sticky Webs drop. This thing is really just there to stall out Shaman of its Seed Flares, and I can basically set up on it. I can set up in front of Melodic if it doesn't have Haze, because Dragon Tail won't be able to, won't be able to phase me out. Um, since I'm running Sub, he can't like burn me with Scald or anything. 
Melodic would be perfect setup fodder, but I mean, switches exist. You can just switch into something like Electivire. Uh, but if I have a sub up, a plus one or maybe a plus two Scald is still going to do a good bit of damage. Weavile is, again, a bit of an issue since, you know, I don't want my lefties to be knocked off. So that's a little scary. But uh, we'll roll with it. That's actually why I was... That's why I wanted to run, to run Crocoon, because that would have... Then what? Then Suicune would have a more reliable form of sustain other than protect sub lefties. Because I don't have a wish passer on this team. Or on my team in general. Horus did offer to trade me Umbreon, which I think would have been a nice addition to this team. But I don't know. I don't know what I can part with. I might, th I might think about that offer a little bit more, because Umbreon would be a nice addition to this team. But... That's the team we're bringing. Uh, again, we're probably going to change up the Tornado set a bit because I have no idea why I have Focus Blast on there. And I will see you guys during the battle. Alright, we're back. Um, Ice just messaged me, said that he was ready. I did want to mention that I did change uh, Focus Blast to Taunt on Tornadus. Thought about Grass Knot for the Melodic, but I felt like Taunting would just make more sense. That way it can't like recover up on me. And Hurricane still does some nice damage to it anyway. Uh, and I never mentioned why I have a Chapel Berry on Excadrill and that 100 defense investment. That is so I can live a close combat from a Mega, Mega Gallade, and then, like, bop it with an Earthquake at minus one. I don't remember the exact calc, so I don't know, like, if that kills at minus one, but it'll certainly do a lot of damage. Okay. Challenge. Ice. Draft League. Let's go! Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Ice didn't bring the Klefki. <laughs> Latios wins. Um... He has the Weavile, he has the Melodic, alright, he's got some scary things. What, is, what else does he not bring in? No, there's no Azelf. Alright, there's no Zangoose, no Electivire. Good, didn't really prep for those. Uh, I've got my Weavile switching in Scrafty. His only Hazard Setter is Garchomp. He probably has to. He definitely has Defog on Golbat, so I'm not going to lead with Aridos yet. He probably predicts the Aridos lead. I could see him leading Gallade and trying to set up. I could lead Drill. Alright, I should calc that again. Mega Gallade at minus one on the defense. Can die to an Earthquake. It's a roll. Do I want to lead Drill and risk it just like that? I don't know if I want to risk that. I think I lead Tornadus. That seems pretty safe. Yeah, Tornadus is really safe. Let me lead that. Okie doke. Also, Ice is a slow player, so we'll see how this goes. So anyway, uh, I'm not sure if I'll cut out another part from before, but assuming I do, uh, I changed uh, Move on Tornadus, I changed Focus Blast to Taunt, so that's handy. Now I can see him pulling the switch here, being afraid of the uh, ICMZ. I don't know what Ice's E Captain is, but I'm going to assume it's Garchomp. I honestly don't know what it is. I should know this, but I don't. Because it's not on the sheet. Uh, CJ, Halu, put that on the sheet somewhere so it's easier to check. Uh, Alright, so, assuming it's offensive Garchomp, I mean, he's probably going to want to set rocks here. Alright, he has moves that do damage. I'm going to taunt him so he can't set rocks. See how that goes. Ah, nice and scarf rocks. Okay, buddy. I'm going to U-turn out, because I, I have no reason not to. Or I can taunt again on the Melodic switch in. If he does that. He's not switching in Weavile. I don't think he goes Golbat here. That'll, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, Shaman wouldn't make a lot of sense. He goes Melodic, so I'm going to taunt again on the switch. Or Golbat. That works too. We'll taunt that. So now we can do turn out. Good to know the Garchomp is Scarfed, so it'll outspeed, like, everything, which is sad, but then I know, I know to keep, um, I'll keep Latios healthy and Tornadus so that he can't lock himself into Earthquake, so I, because I would get a free switch. I need to keep Drill healthy as well for that same reason. So now, alright, he's going to U-turn himself probably, dang, I should have thought that one through, <laughs> whatever. Um, I can go Scrafty, but no, then he just gets, then he just goes into, like, Gallade. I could go Latios, but then I'd take a little bit of extra damage there. I should have put Roost on Latios. I don't know why I didn't do that. But okay. That's weird. Uh, Suicune. And then, and then he goes into Weavile. Or Shaman, rather. Well, I could kind of stall out Shaman, but I need a little bit of momentum first. I need him to switch in Shaman on my Suicune. 
Um, I think I just go into Excadrill. That makes sense to me. As he is going to U-turn out himself. Okay. In all honesty, I should have... No, I shouldn't have taunted again. That would have been dumb. Uh, U-turn was probably the right play, because then you could have gone into Weavile. And I mean, I'm Yachi Berry, but I don't think I kill that from full, do I? Should have run this calc before, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't kill it from full. I need rocks to be up first. Okay. So if he sends in the Glade, things can get really spoopy really fast, because we have taken rocks damage and U-turn damage. So we are no longer... Close combat will still kill us under most circumstances. Which is kind of stupid. I don't know why I sent in Drill. And a Cleric would have been really nice for this team. Like, again, Umbreon. I would love to have Umbreon in this team. I should probably pick that up at some point. I should probably make that transaction. I'm not sure. Uh, I got pinged on Discord, and it's bugging me because I see the little one there. Um, I don't see it. In any, I don't see my ping anywhere. Who pinged me? All right, he is going to go into Garchomp here. We are not Shookaberry because I'm a smart boy. Um... We know he's Scarf, Stealth Rocks. Earthquake kills us. Now, is Ice gonna overpredict? Is Ice gonna overpredict? <sighs> I could go into Scrafty, but I would like to keep that thing healthy for the Weavile. But I mean, Scrafty might still be my best play. Garchomp. Scarf set. Does like nothing to Scrafty. Then I can basically drain punch my health back or knock off. Even better, I could go for a knock off. Or just drain punch. Can Scrafty 1v1 Gallade? I don't think it can. Uh, foul play would be better than knock off on Garchomp. Mega Gallade. Uh, actually, let me go to base Gallade. So if it's not Mega yet, Foul play is going to do a ton. Then Mega Gallade does not kill me with close combat. So I think I just go Scrafty here. That makes the most sense to me. We're gonna get that nice attack drop. As he goes for the Earthquake, all right. Nice and two damage. So he knows he can't stay in. Um, do I make the knockoff play? Or do I go for the foul play? Ha, I'm funny. Wait, actually that Calc from before might have had the attack drop. I probably should take that off of the Calc. Oi, that's doing entirely too much damage. Then again, Foul Play will also do a ton to him. Same with the Garchomp, actually. Except the no, he's at minus one now. Uh, he has to switch, that's for sure. Does he go into Melodic? Or does he go... I don't think he risks Glade. Does he go Melodic or does he go Golbat? Either way, I think I just go for the knockoff here. It's my best... I think that's my best middle ground play. Knock off whatever item of the thing he wants to send in. Because I don't expect him to go Gallade here. He's definitely not going Weavile. If he goes to Melodic, we can Toxic on the next turn. That'll really start to wear it down. I don't think he wants to go Melodic or Golbat here either. Because again, knock off. He might just go Shaman. So I can get rid of its item, which would be nice. And then on Shaman, I can go into either Tornadus or Latios. I need to get rid of these hazards. They're starting to get annoying. The rocks, I mean. He goes Melodic. All right, we're going to knock off. It's, I'm assuming, Flame Orb. Leftovers. Okay. So he might be competitive. I mean, I don't want to Toxic him now because... Uh, because if he's Marvel Scale, that would just help him. But then again, Melodic does not appreciate a Toxic to the face. So I'm expecting him to just go for the Scald here. I'm not going to go into Suicune. Go Latios. This is not the time for Ariados to start setting hazards. Because the Golbat's still there. And I need to keep Scrafty relatively healthy. So I think my play is to go into Latios here. I don't do much, but I do enough to, to the point where I would be forcing him to recover a lot. So, Or I can just Toxic him. Lotus does not appreciate a Toxic to the face. Yeah, I can see him just going for a recover here, or Scald. Either way, okay, so if he recovers, 
and I switch into something, nothing really breaks the melodic. But if he scalds, and I switch into something, he... I think his plays to recover. Especially since leftovers are gone, he's going to need this thing to be healthy to switch into this stuff later. So if I toxic it, I can put it on a timer, and that's sweet. Unfortunately, that would give... Nice meme. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I can just kind of drain punch here, I guess. Knockoff did, what, 24% before? Um, Lodic. Took 24 from the knockoff. That is very physical. Well, could that be calm nature? That could be. Now, assuming it has no item. I can see that being calm, I guess. Uh, drain punch is going to do, like, no damage. Yeah, it does actually nothing. It does actually no damage, so I'm going to have to switch out here. I guess I'll, I can go into Latios. That seems like a fine play. As he toxics again. Okay, well played. Good play there. I don't really have a reason not to Thunderbolt. Or I could make the double. I think I'll just Thunderbolt here. Get off as much damage as I can. Because he definitely doesn't go Guard Jump. Um... I could see the Shaman play being a thing. Do I want to just go for the Psychic? Okay, this thing's going to have Toxic Recover, Scald. And uh, I could see it having Haze. Toxic Recover, Scald. Okay, if it has hit, If it doesn't have Haze, Suicune sets up on it for days. If it does have Haze, that means it doesn't have Ice Beam. And it doesn't have other potential moves. So I would say he either recovers here or he switches out. He probably... I think he recovers here. Then he switches on the next turn when the toxic damage starts to rack up. So I think we Thunderbolt here. Get off as much damage as we can. Alright, he is going to stay in. Oh, that mattered. That definitely mattered. That definitely mattered. 56... To Melodic. That definitely mattered. Uh, crit Thunderbolt. Did, that might have even been a min roll. I mean, not that... <laughs> not that the roll matters with, with the crit, but... Alright, so Melodic is down. That's actually bad, because that's that was my setup fodder for Suicune. Wait, no! No! I didn't want it to die there! No! That's bad! Now I can't set up with Suicune in front of anything. Dang it. All that for nothing. Now he goes into the Weavile. Uh, do we need Latios? I feel like it would still be nice. So he's probably going to Dark Move here, because I don't think he goes for the thing. He hasn't seen my item, so as far as he knows, I could be Scar. I think he's going to go for the Knock. Can I live that, and can I kill him? I cannot live a banded knockoff. I can live a life orb knockoff. 77 min. Oh, yeah. no, I can't live a life orb knockoff either. He might try to pursuit trap me. How much is per. Whoops, that was a bad typo. Uh, how much is a pursuit doing? I can live that for sure. Um, I can't live if I switch out this, so I think I have to stay in. And Latios, uh, provides some nice pressure later on. Um. Do I need Latios? It can't break Shaman, it can't break Weavile. Garchomp outspeeds it anyway. Uh, Glade... Is especially defensive and Golbat is really the only thing I really need it for because otherwise it might be a bit of a hard it might be a bit hard to break that but I have taunt on tornadoes I have not much else dang and uh, Scrafty got chipped down so I don't know if it's a weave I don't know if it's a weave out switching anymore I don't know if he's even gonna pursue trap me Scrafty versus Weavile I have no idea what his set is um If 
goes for the knock. That does no damage. I, I should put Intimidate back on this thing now. Or not item. Uh, ability Intimidate. Alright, that might still be a switch in. I think it is still a switch in, but... Uh, oh man, this is tough. Do I need Scrafty for anything else other than Weavile? It's a nice Garchomp switch in. That's about it. And he would really be pressured because he doesn't have a nice. He doesn't really have a switch in. It's Scrafty. Uh. Okay, Ice. This is like one turn when I t go slow. Like this is kind of an important turn. Do I need Latios? I feel like I need Latios for the Golbat, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Scrafty here because I feel like that's the right play. As he's going to go for the. Knock off. Okay, so he's gonna take Rocky Helmet damage. All right, so he does. He definitely does not want to stay in here. So for that reason, I'm going to foul play or do I knock off? I think I knock off on the goal bat. And if for some reason he, yep, there's the goal bat. So we get the knock off there. So he loses his Eviolite, which is nice. Now, I would like to preserve this thing. I'm not sure what Golbat could do. He might just... He might just U-turn out. In which case, he would go into Shame and like most likely. Uh, I could see going... I could see Shaman being a play. On a U-turn. Although, he could also have Brave Bird. Definitely has Defog. Definitely has Roost. He has U-turn, and he might have Brave Bird. I think he U-turns out here. I can't let him have that momentum. I don't think he roosts, so I'm going to knock off again. Yep, there's the U-turn. All right, perfect. He's going in the Shaman. All right, we made that read right. So we get rid of Shaman's item as well. We get rid of those leftovers, which is nice. So now Scrafty is basically dead anyway. It's not like it can really do much. I mean, it can switch into stuff like Weavile and Garchomp and Glade and, I mean, hinder them a little bit, but... Uh, I think I sack this thing now, so then I can get the free switch into Tornadus and really start to put in work. Really start to pressure his team. Uh, can Tornadus eat a... Well, how much did the knockoff do from Weavile? 7.2%. Whoa, what? Oh, wait, I don't have an item. Let's let's pretend I have leftovers. 7.2. It wasn't. We didn't see Life Orb. 7.2 on the knockoff. That could have been a min roll on Banded. So that could be Banded. Alright, do I need... Uh, do I need Scrafty? It would be nice, but I also don't really have a solid Shaman switch in. So I think I'm going to sack it. Uh, I think that makes sense. Just click Toxic anyway. He's going to Leech Seed. Okay, so I get off the Toxic, which is nice. I get a little bit more damage. He has Natural Cure, I know, but at the very least, this does force his switch. So, Scrafty is going to go down. What can Shaman do to Ariados? If I can get up webs, because it might he might have Psychic, but I don't know. Would he have that? Shaman. Uh, let's, let's look at the R Are You Leech Seed set. Air Slash would kill me. Well, I mean, that would be a roll. So if he has Psychic, that would definitely kill me. Assuming he's offensive, which he might be defensive. We, we're not sure. I can go into Drill to Scout. Or I can just go into Tornadoes like a normal person. He really doesn't have Hurricane Switch-Ins. Let's go Tornadoes. I really put in work with Tornadoes here. Because, yeah, nothing switches into a Hurricane. Or I can just U-turn out, you know, that's... He has to preserve Shaman for, you know, Suicune and stuff. So I think he has to switch. So if I U-turn out, I just get the momentum. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to U-turn out. And if for some obscure reason he stays in, I can go into... Excadrill. Because, well, okay, what would Shaman want to do to Tornadus? Okay, yeah, he switches out into Golbat. Alright, this is fine. So now I can go into Drill 
And I can rapid spin. <laughs> Classic Ben move, he says. Uh, yeah, I don't see a reason not to go into drill here in rapid spinning. The hazards are getting annoying. And I need to, I need to, I want my focus sash on RAS. So let's do that. Let's get rid of these hazards. Rapid spin. Like, getting rough rocks against his team would be nice, especially to chip down the Weavile and put it in range of, like, all my attacks. But I think the important thing right now is to get rid of these rocks. Plus, he has a Defogger on the field right now. So he might be scared of um, a Rock Slide or maybe like a Swords Dance. No, he wouldn't. I wouldn't go for Swords Dance here when he still has like three Pokemon that can revenge kill me. So I'm going to at least wrap and spin away these hazards because they're annoying. Then I can set my own. I just got to be careful not to let Golbat defog them away. He's going to switch into Garchomp. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the Stealth Rocks here. He is Rough Skin this time. Good job, Ice. You did something right. And now I think he predicts my switch into uh, Tornadus, or he could just set rocks himself here. Do I have a reason to keep extra drill around? It, Gallade kills it. Um, I mean, it would prevent Garchomp from just clicking a dragon move. And I can still get rid of hazards if he wants to set them here. I can see him just clicking Dragon Move. This might be my time to go into Suicune and start setting up, actually. How much does it take from a Garchomp? Alright, Garchomp will still break my sub, but I can get some Call Mines up and start to scare him. I'm gonna go into Suicune. Alright, he's locked into rocks. This is fine. We can set up a sub. And now... Now we start PP stalling. <laughs> Let's go. Let's protect. Yeah, nice seed flare. You're you're running low on those, buddy. Uh, let's sub again on the next seed flare. This is actually happening. Now he he sees that the protect is incoming, so I'm gonna call mind on the earth power. You could also try to switch. We'll see. But I'm going to call mine here. That's my play. He's going to leech seed. Nice try. All right. Now I think he tries to... Ooh. Do I protect again? I'm going to protect here. Or do I just Calm Mind again? Let me calc that. Suicune with a Calm Mind up against a Shaman. Seed Flare does a lot, but... Do we... Oh, right, I knocked off his leftovers earlier. I'm at plus one, plus one. It's going to take a lot more than that to be able to stall him out. So... My protect, my protect here is obvious as well, so... I... I'm... <clears throat> If I'm at plus two, how much does his move do to me? Not a lot, then I can... Okay, this is not the end of the world. I think I'm going to call mine here. He's going to go for the synthesis. All right, this is sweet. Get up another call mind. Okay, so... I'm at plus two, plus two. Scald is not going to do anything to the Shaman. Now I'm going to protect. On the Seed Flare! Nice, 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 nice. So he only has one Seed Flare left. But I got to be careful, because... Uh... This is Cancer Coon. Who needs Crow Coon? All right, he has one seed flare left, but I gotta be careful. I'm gonna sub here. Oh, he's gonna switch into Garchomp. All right, this is fine. All right, he's gonna have to break my sub, of course. I think I'll just kind of scald. All right, how much do I do to Garchomp? Scald's 
Skull should do half, assuming no investment. So I'm gonna go for the Scald here. That's my right. That's definitely the play here to Scald. Okay, so Ice is saying because of his little screw up here, he's in a terrible spot, and he'll explain after the game. He must have messed something up. Hey guys, Future Ben here. I just wanted to mention that Ice's little screw up is that he didn't have Infiltrator on Golbat, so that he couldn't get through Suicune Sub, which sounds like it's bad. But the move he was going to use to get through the sub was Haze, which bypasses Sub anyway. It's just that he didn't know that during the game. Uh, he was super mad when he found out after the game that Haze bypasses Sub like that. So. Had he known that, Golbat would have been able to come in, get rid of my stat boost, and Suicune wouldn't have been nearly as much of a problem for him. That's what his little screw-up was. Uh, must, he must have messed up one of his stats. Like, maybe he doesn't have Taunt on Golbat or something. Then he meant to. I don't know. Guess we'll see. But... Right, this Suicune set has worked out exactly how I envisioned it. Shaman would be his revenge killer, and I knew that I had to stall that thing out of Seed Flares. He only has one left, basically. So he's gonna go for the Earthquake here. We are going to Scald. And we do not get the burn, but alright, that's fine. So now... Alright, he can go into Shaman after this, and Leech Seed. So I think after we kill the Garchomp, we'll have to switch out. So I'm gonna Scald one more time. He might try to preserve this thing. In fact... Does he, what does he need Garchomp for? It still puts in work in this game. If he switches into Shaman on my Scald, all of a sudden, he gets the momentum. So I think I'm going to substitute on a Shaman switch. <sighs> Come on, Ice. Go into Shaman. Go into Shaman. Yes! Okay. So he... He has one Seed Flare left. So I hate to just click Protect again. So he's gonna click a move that's not called Seed Flare. I'm gonna Calm Mind once more. As he goes right back out into Garchomp. Okay. So actually... Alright, that was a good play. That was a good play. That was a really good play. So now he can break my sub and go right back out into Shaman. So... I'm gonna protect, get a little bit of extra health back. Alright, now we can Scald. <laughs> Alright, he says, uh, I'm I'm not sure if you guys can see the chat, but if you had Scalded there, I would have clicked X. <laughs> okay, so, we killed the Garchomp. Uh, now he goes right back out into Shaman, though. That's the issue. So now he either goes for the Leech Seed or the Seed Flare. I am at plus three. Plus three. How much does Shaman do? Not a lot with Seed Flare, but it does break my sub. So he goes into Weavile. Okay, he's gonna he wants to knock off my lefties. That's what his goal is here, to knock off my leftovers. Do I need Suicune in the, for the rest of this game? Okay. So I'm at plus three. Does that kill his Weavile? Weavile, from this range, it would be a roll. So I am going to Scald here on his knockoff. So, alright, yeah, he's going to knock off my leftovers there. Scald does pick up the kill. Alright, we get the roll. So now he goes into Glade. Alright, not sure what he's doing. Not sure why he doesn't go back into Shaman. Okay. I'll Scald again, I guess. Since, you know, I can't exactly get any health back. We'll see what he's going to click. He's going to click Swords Dance. Could be scary, but we have Tornadus. We have, um... Yeah, yeah, we've got Tornadoes. We can Revenge kill him. So, this thing is going to close combat in my face. I'm going to not protect, because that's dumb. Uh, Latios can... T Actually, this could get scary. I'm going to Scald him again. I should be able to die here. Yes, of course. So now, he's at minus moves. I actually could have protected there and stalled him out of another close combat that would have given him only two left. But okay, so Tornadus, uh, Latios should speed tie, that's a risky though, that's a risky thing though, so, Tornadus could miss a Hurricane, Glade, at minus two, or minus one rather, 
Heat Wave kills Gallade from this range. Wait, does Ariados kill with Shadow Sneak? That would be funny. Minus one on the defense. Ariados actually kills with Shadow Sneak. Uh, I think I might go into that. Yeah, I'll go into Ariados and just click Shadow Sneak. It's obvious. Uh, he might switch. See what he wants to do. Alright, my computer is dying. Let me get the charging cord here. The most professional of YouTubers. That is, that is what I am. Okay, we're good. Okay, so I just don't want to risk the miss with Tornadus, because if I miss a move with Tornadus, all of a sudden, I am in a bad spot. I would have to win a speed tie with Latios. And then if I don't win that speed tie, I think I lose the game. So, this I feel like this is my best play. <clears throat> and if he does switch, that just means that his... Um, all right, he's gonna stay in. Oh, that crit, I got a crit there, it didn't matter. All right, we're fine. Am I still recording? I better be. Good, 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 good. I'm very paranoid of this kind of thing. All right, now he goes into Shaman. Um, Leech Seed, Seed Flare Synthesis. I mean, I guess I'll just Night Slash and let him kill me. Or I can go into Latios and just... I'm not gonna... I don't like saying GG too early, but I'll, I'll just... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say GG after because I don't want to have anything stupid happen. So, I'm gonna sack... All right, I'm just gonna Night Slash here. I'm gonna sack my crud. That does no damage, it's a bulky shaman. Uh, yeah, anyway, just gonna let this thing die. Oh no, he's smart. Does- does he have earth power? In that case, then, Latios walls. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go right into Tornadus. That way I can just end, like, you know, end this faster. It just makes sense to me. Alright, so... Hurricane should do some mad damage. Uh, alternatively, right, we know this is a defensive shaman. Yeah, let's go to the offensive set, because that makes sense. Hurricane doesn't actually kill here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to U-turn. No, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hurricane anyway. That does not quite kill. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so he landed the toxic there. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to actually U-turn out and just go into Latios and win the game. That's what I'm going to do. So he goes Golbat, we can go into Latios. And Latios wins this game with Psychic at this point. It should anyway. Okay, let me just drop a GG in the chat. Psychic. Alright, now we say GG. And Psychic. Okay. So, Suicune so put in work. That was cool. Good game to Ice. Um, I don't think he's in a very good mood right now, which which makes me sad because he's my good pal. But we have advanced to five and three. We picked up this team at one and three. We are now five and three. That was cool. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week for week nine of UBC. Out of I think what ten weeks total, we take on someone. I we might actually take on Noah. I'm not sure, but I'll see you guys next week.